Allah Jalla wa'ala, my dear respected brothers and sisters, made an oath by those 10 days of the Hijjah. Allah Jalla wa'ala said what? وَالْفَجْرِ وَلَيَالٍ عَشَرٍ Allah is the greatest. Allah Jalla wa'ala does not make an oath by something except if that thing is great. So when Allah Jalla wa'ala made this oath, وَالْفَجْرِ وَلَيَالٍ عَشَرٍ لَيَالٍ عَشَرٍ and 10 nights. Most of the scholars who spoke about tafsir, they said that those 10 nights are the 10 nights of Dhil Hijjah. Allah Jalla wa'ala called those 10 days of Dhil Hijjah as ayyam ma'lumat. In Surah Al-Hajj, Allah Jalla wa'ala says, وَيَذْكُرُ اسْمَ اللَّهِ فِي أَيَّامٍ مَعْلُومَاتٍ they, the, they remember Allah Jalla wa'ala and they make the dhikr of Allah Jalla wa'ala in أَيَّام مَعْلُومَاتٍ أَيَّام appointed days which are the days of the Hijjah. That's why Sa'id ibn Jubay, he was a student of Ibn Abbas and he narrated the previous hadith of Ibn Abbas where the Prophet Sallallahu said there are no days in which the good deeds are more beloved to Allah Jalla wa'ala than those days. He used to work so hard uh, getting closer to Allah Jalla wa'ala in those days until no one can catch up with him. One of the other companions, he said, don't switch off your lights in those 10 nights of the Hijjah. Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala and who said that each day of those 10 days of the Hijjah is equal to 1000 days apart from the Hijjah. And each and the day of Arafah is equal to what? Is equal to 10,000 days. Allahu Akbar, brothers and sisters, imagine, what, did, what does that mean? The scholar said, doing any good deed in those days, it is likely to be multiplied by 1,000 times in those normal days, 1,000 times. So if you say, subhanallah, one time during those 10 days of the Hijjah, as if you have said it, what, 1,000 times, in normal circumstances. Allahu Akbar. That's why one of the other scholars, he said, fasting one day of those 10 days of the Hijjah is equal to fasting 1,000 days. Imagine if we manage to fast eight days of the Hijjah, the first eight days of the Hijjah, as if we have fasted what? 8,000 days which is equal to maybe fasting for 70 consecutive years. This is unbelievable, my dear respected brothers and sisters. And they said that the day of Arafah is equal to 10,000 days. Fasting the day of Arafah is equal to fasting 10,000 days. This is unbelievable. That's why the Previous scholars used to put more attention to do good deeds in those 10 days. There are so many good deeds to be done, but we should focus on specific deeds. Uh, Allah Jalla wa'ala, as we said, selected certain times and increases the reward on those times. And Allah Jalla wa'ala wants us to do specific good deeds in specific times. In Ramadan, we cannot do Hajj. In Hajj, we should not fast during the day of Arafah. And in those days, yes, we can do other things, but let us focus more on those day on those deeds that we have mentioned. May Allah Jalla make us among those who focus on such good deeds.